Hello everyone and welcome to today's math class. Here we have 3 to the power of k equal to minus 1 and we are asked to look for the value of k here. And if you look at this challenge here, you discover there is no value of k in the real world of numbers, mathematics that casually satisfy this um, equation here, this exponential equation. But we can actually get uh, infinite solutions or infinite um, uh, numbers that can satisfy this from the imaginary uh, world in mathematics. So how do we solve for this set of imaginary numbers that can uh, satisfy this? So let's take a solution here. So we have solution. So we know that the question is our uh, 3 to the power of k equal to minus 1 in here. All we just have to take note of is that 1 can be rewritten in another format. So we know that 1 can be written as our we have e to the power of our pi iota plus our 2 pi n i. All right, so where n is an integer, okay? n is a set of integers, right? Good. So if it is so, the next thing we do here is to either we take log to be e of both expression or we align both sides of the equation, okay? In one of my videos where I have a similar challenge here, I use uh, log to base e, but here I want to use ln base e, yeah. Okay, so we ln both sides of the equation, so we have here yeah, ln of our uh, 3 r raised to the power of k, this is equal to the ln times our e raised to the power of our pi, right, iota plus our 2, uh, let's start this n first before our iota here. All right, so what happened here? Yeah. We apply the power law of logarithm, which says that we move this to this other side. So if we equally apply that root to this other side, this comes down here, and ln is e times e will give us our uh, one. And so this is going to give us our k times the ln of our three, those bracket, equal to our pi iota, this is pi please, pi iota plus our two n pi iota. We are looking for k, so very easy. Let's divide by our ln of 3. So if we divide by the ln of 3, we only divide this side by the ln of our 3. So this, this leaves the system. So we now have k is equal to, yeah, what is common here? We have pi iota here. Yeah. So we can factor that from the system. So if we do that, we're good to have here yeah, our pi iota then into our year one plus then we have two n plus bracket all over the ln of our three. Okay, so this is the set of imaginary numbers that can actually satisfy the original equation. So if you vary your n, substitute your value of n into the system, you can actually get infinite solution to uh, this math problem. So this is simple work. So this brings us to the end of today's math class. If you have any question with regards to this, drop it in the comment section. See you in our next class. Bye for now.